Utopia is Travis Scott's fourth studio album and the album is filled with a bunch of crazy dark and evil production and it sounds amazing. So today we're going to be breaking down some of the techniques used in the hardest tracks on Utopia and figure out what makes these beats so crazy and gives them that dark and evil energy. Later on in this video we're going to get into some techniques that are used in songs like God's Country, Utopia Twins, and Sirens. But for now I want to dive into one of my favorite tracks off the album Meltdown featuring Drake. As you can hear the song starts out with this super creepy and eerie violin sample that really sets the vibe for the whole track. Yeah. Tensions is definitely rising. A great way to get this evil vibe to your melodies is to use half steps or just notes that are one note apart. So to replicate that violin sound, I grabbed this Chris Hine contact bank and I laid down this simple and evil pattern. Now that sounds alright, but it really wasn't cutting it for me. I wanted to take it one step further and get a super authentic sampled vibe that Travis loves in all of his songs. So I hired a violinist, and this is what that sounds like. Once I got the recording back, I layered back in the VST and then I added a ton of reverb to make it sound as big and cinematic as possible to really capture that utopia energy. After that, I added these low bass piano notes and an alarm sound effect just to add to the atmosphere and fill out the sample. For the last sound on our melody, I wanted to switch it up a bit. So I grabbed this medieval key preset from the Syntopia Analog Lab Bank and put down this plucky pattern. Once I had that, the melody was pretty much done. But to really get that warped and sampled sound that Travis Scott loves, I had to take it one step further. From there, I added some H910 harmonizer to mess with the pitch and warp the whole sample. And then I dragged it into a sampler, chopped it up, and got this. Now that we got the sample done, we really need some hard hitting drums just like the ones on Meltdown. Tea time. Tea time like I got a cup of this shit. Tea time like golf at a quarter to six. I love the fuck on a regular bitch. Famous From what I can hear, there's a snare, hi hat, kick, 808, an open hat, and that iconic Lex Luger chant. The first thing we need to do is lay down a simple hi hat pattern. If you listen to the ones on Meltdown, you can hear that there's not too many rolls, there's just a couple subtle 16th note rolls. Now, to lock in that bounce, we need a hard-hitting snare, some open hats, and that Lex Luger chant. Now, if you listen to the 808 on the Meltdown beat, it doesn't really sound super punchy. It's more of a subby, deep kind of 808. So for our beat, I grabbed a super subby 808, layered it with a kick, and here's what our drums sound like. Now, we could stop here, but one of my favorite parts on Meltdown is that evil breakdown. Adding this crazy breakdown to the track gives it so much more energy and attitude, and it helps transition the song perfectly into Travis's part. So, to do something similar, I grabbed this bass from the Syntopia Analog Lab Bank and layered it with a deep synth brass sound.
Now, once Travis comes in on the song, you can hear these dark anthemic horns that come in and it really helps evolve the beat and give it that anthemic evil feeling. Is you crazy? Is you crazy? And it's get it a seven. So I grabbed this brass preset from the Mellotron and laid down this pattern to keep our beat evolving and interesting. And now, all together, our Meltdown inspired track sounds like this. That's sounding pretty fire, but another crazy beat on Utopia is God's Country. Only one ain't watching it. Yeah. That creepy kid choir really sets off the whole track and gives it this super dark energy that almost puts you in a trance. So I wanted to start off our next beat by making my own kid choir vocals. And to do this, you don't need to be able to sing at all. And actually being a little bit off pitch can sometimes add to the vibe and make it sound more creepy, which is exactly what we're going for with this. So I hummed out some melodies and layered five different recordings of me singing in a high pitch voice and got this. <laughs> Now, to make this one a little bit different from God's Country, I wanted to add some guitar. And I really liked the outro on Meltdown, so I drew some inspiration for that. I really like how the texture on this guitar sounds. It sounds super natural and loose. So to make my guitar sound nice and thick like this one, I recorded a simple chord progression two different times, and then I layered it together and panned one left and one right. And the little imperfections in each recording really help add to that raw human texture. After I had that, I layered in some live ukulele and I grabbed this crazy delay preset from Arturia to add in some trippy and psychedelic ear candy. Now we've got a super nice foundation for the sample, but all over Utopia, you can hear crazy analog synths that really just take it to the next level. Just like the ones on Siren and Hyena. <laughs> The reason these synths sound so incredible, thick, and have so much texture is because they're actually from analog synths and not just VSTs. So to get that crazy analog sound in the sample, I'm actually going to be using my Profit Rev 2. However, if you don't have any analog synths yourself, me and my team spent four months putting together this crazy pack that gives you sounds from over $117,000 worth of analog synths. So if you want to check that out and get some real synth sounds, it'll be the first link in the description down below. But anyways, getting back to our beat, the first thing I wanted to add was a fire synth lead with some pitch bending to give it a nice trippy vibe. Now to really add some more life to this synth section, I wanted to add some Mike Dean inspired synth chords. Now, to finish off our synth section, we need that super gritty and iconic Mike Dean synth bass. And there's a perfect preset for this inside the analog lab bank. And to make sure this sounds super gritty and evil, we're gonna use those same half step notes that we used in the first beat. Now, 
Our sample was finished. I'm just gonna mess with the pitch and that same H910 harmonizer plugin that we used on the first sample and then add some crazy drums. And for the drums on this one, I did two different sections, but for the first one, I drew inspiration from the drums on Topia Twins. <laughs> The first thing that I noticed about these drums is how the 808s and open hats play together and kind of work together to lock in a bounce. So to replicate this, I laid down this 808 pattern and then I layered in a crash in an open hat playing with the 808. Doing this leaves a lot of pockets and space for other percussions or even rhythms for the rapper to flow on. The next thing I added was a clap in a super simple hi-hat pattern like the one on Topia Twins. Once I had this, the foundation was set, but I wanted to add a few more sounds to really add to the bounce and give it that unique energy. So I added a simple bounce snare like the one on Topia Twins, and I also added a laser sound effect. To finish up this first drum section, I took some inspiration from the subtle tom fills on Topia Twins. Amazon Prime, give me two days, I bet he dropped pussy. And with the tom fill added, here's what all the drums sound like. Now, we could stop here, but on tracks like Sirens, Hyena, Circus Maximus, we can hear some crazy cinematic drums that are definitely super Kanye West inspired. <laughs> To replicate this kind of sound, you want to find some super gritty and acoustic sounding drums. You almost want the sounds that you pick to almost sound like a whole entire stadium stomping or clapping their hands. So for our beat, I started with some super distorted stomps and kicks and got this. Once I had that, I wanted to add a little bit more movement and flavor, so I grabbed this Tyco percussion loop and a vocal chop that I distorted like crazy and added a bunch of delay, and this is what those sound like. <laughs> now, all together, this is what our second Utopia-inspired track sounds like. If you want to learn why Travis Scott is so obsessed with Mike Dean's production, check this video right here.